Hi there everybody, this is Amber Johnson with Helping the Good People. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, it's greatly appreciated. It helps me to see who's watching, uh, what videos you guys like, um, and so on. It helps me be more creative and, uh, you know, today I've just like been, whoa, <laughs> in my brain, you know. And when I get like that, I have to I have to do something. And today I'm digging into research uh, regarding uh, medicine and some of the herbs that I've been using in some of my products. Um, I've been making a lot of products, and it's really crazy because it all started from watching YouTube videos and <laughs> like this and um, taking what I uh, have inside and and creating something beautiful from it. Um, can you guys believe that some of the herbs that I've been using just from simple recipes um, that I created for my own health, that's how I got started with this. Um, they cover such a variety of different things with ailments all the way from, you know, skin ailments to um, all the way to cancer treatments, um, substitutes uh, for cancer treatments, alternatives to surgeries. I mean... I spent about two hours yesterday just going over the list of herbs that I've used in just my everyday products, whether it was medicines, oils, lotions, um, balms, pain oils. Um, yes, I've been making that, all of it. And oh man, I just make, it makes me want to just delve in. Now for you guys that don't know me very well. Um, or who are still getting to know me over the years, um, I spent most of my life in uh, metaphysics, um, uh, new age, um, healing, uh, numerology, astrology. Um, I even delved deep into handwriting, uh, facial body expressions, um, into human anatomy. I mean, I have delved into every area of the body, of the blood, uh, for, for years. Um, due to all the trauma, you know, that's, that I've endured over the last, let's say, four years of getting myself back to health, um, uh, through it all has led me right back to what I love to do, which is research, um, into medicine. Now I found everything seems to be backwards when I reverse it, so reverse it. <laughs> Um, this book that I found at um, Bookman's about three years ago is called Medicinal Plants of the Western Mountain States by Charles Kane. I like it. Inside in the middle, of course, it's got pictures. Cool pictures of all the different flowers native, native to uh, the Western Mountains. Even simple weeds, dandelions that I didn't even know. You can eat them. <laughs> you can just straight up just eat them. That's one of them that's written down. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, I have like three or four different roots um, that I got from uh, the co-op. And my intention was to make it a paste. But I haven't found the powder. So, obviously, I had to get a mortar. And I haven't crushed it up yet. But you take four of the uh, ground roots... You mix it with honey, and it creates a um, probiotic, and you, it's like kind of like a syrup. But it has burdock root. Okay, hold on. I have it written down. <laughs> it's just part of my research. Just one medicine that I found in a recipe. Burdock, marshmallow, dandelion, and chicory root. So I couldn't believe what I found out yesterday when I looked it up to see what I could make, what else I can make with it, you know, what it can do for the body um, as I'm creating my own recipes now. Um, burdock root, anti-inflammatory. It's antioxidants, removes toxins from the blood. Basically, it's a blood purifier. That alone, burdock root. Drink a little tea. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Removes toxins. It's basically a blood purifier. Um, it promotes oxygen and increases circulation to the surface of the skin. Um, may inhibit growth of ca in cancer uh, cells, mainly pancreatic. Um, treats acne and eczema. Antibacterial. Aphrodisiac. 
they said uh, from the extract. Can you believe that? You can actually uh, take the extract and it increases your amount of sexual behavior <laughs> and sexual, sexual function. I had to laugh at that one. It's an aphrodisiac. Of course, I would not recommend doing that. I am not a medical doctor. <laughs> uh, let's see. So it basically can made, be made um, from dr uh, dried root powder, burdock tea, and burdock oil extract. It can be cooked, fried, boiled, or sauteed. So there you go. It's edible. Burdock root. That's just one. Okay, the other one's marshmallow root. It's native to Africa. It treats infections, aids digestion, improves skin, treatment for lungs, bacterial infections. Acts as a soft fiber and swells when in contact with water. Offers protection of the membranes. Oh man, I'm telling you. Improves functioning of the mucous membranes. Treats cause colds, combats lung cancer, heals stomach ulcers, bites bacteria. I mean, you see why I'm making what I'm making, guys? Uh, marshmallow root boosts heart health, helps with bladder digestion, has evidence of elevated levels of good cholesterol, relieves heartburn, acid reflux, diarrhea, constipation. Dandelion root treats acne, vitamin C and K, treats cancer, can be eaten in greens, meal, cooked, regulates blood sugar. Uh, let's see here. Helps absorb glucose within the muscle tissue. Leads to improved insulin sensitivity in type 2 diabetes. Reduces cholesterol. Lowers blood pressure. Helps with liver function. Chicory root stimulates appetite. Cleans skin. Anti-aging. Supports intestines. Lowers stress-related insomnia. Applied topically on boils, wounds, aids in liver, heart, helps ease anxiety attacks. I'm going to continue to make medicine. I'm going to continue to uh, do my research for sure. Another one, ginger root. This is, these are things that I've been using in my products for myself as far as making teas and things. It's an anti-inflammatory, uh, stimulates saliva, <clears throat> treats morning sickness, helps weight loss, can help with osteoarthritis, um, Lowers blood pressure as well, weight loss, heart, respiratory, antibacterial. Uh, used to warm the stomach and lungs. Reduces cancer when drank as a tea. I can't express to you the benefits of these herbs to my body. See my little herbs up here? They just confirm that. <laughs> it just pops and says, I'm not done yet. Those have to sit in the jar for anywhere from two to three weeks up to a month to two months. Some of these recipes, they take longer just to get the process started, especially with soap making. Um, I've had more re uh, requests for soap. I am going to be on that, especially for um, Dennis. He said his wife needs some with lavender this time. And I said, that's fine. I am loving lavender and chamomile. I've been making uh, smelling salts, too. I have recipes for smelling salts that I was making for um, addiction, recovery, um, anger issues, sleeplessness. Um, you mix the salts together with the, the, the ingredients. Open it up and you smell it when you start feeling triggered. I've been using it and I've been smothered in herbs and oils and... Um, fragrance for days now <laughs> my whole body and house smells like fragrance it's beautiful of course drinking the coffee it's 3 15 in the afternoon it's probably 102 degrees outside here in tucson <laughs> so thank you for uh, sitting with me and and listening to some of the um, cool benefits of some of these ingredients that i'm finding out now I gotta tell you, my list got up to 27 ingredients, and I've only found about five or six of them. So I will be definitely digging deeper into it. Looking into school now, I'm gonna continue school. In some way or another, uh, medicine is the way to go for my body. I hope and pray that each one of you out there are looking for alternatives, especially when you're stuck in a rut. You're going to doctors, you're getting injections, you're 
you know, getting patches, you know, I, I still know some people that are getting those old school fentanyl patches. I mean, those things are known to kill you. Um, years of uh, doctors and pain management doctors, I can tell you right now that it's all science. If they don't know what, what is wrong with you, literally, uh, they will make up a name and, and call it that. I know because I've been one of those new ones that they didn't know. <laughs> you got to kind of make something up. But in the process of learning about all of this stuff, going through it personally, I can tell you right now the herbal remedies have helped me more than anything in my whole, whole entire life besides exercise, physical therapy, laughing, dancing, moving the body, which is another thing that is wrong with my body is that it locks up. It gets stiff. Um, I'm constantly having to move and uh, my diet, my diet definitely has to be worked on every single day. My body mass and weight loss has started uh, declining back in 2017. I, I mean, I, I seriously did not know myself anymore. I was down to 107 pounds. My normal weight's 120. Um, at that point, I found peanut butter. I started eating peanut butter, man. I ate peanut butter on everything. And next thing you know, within a week, I gained back about 18 pounds. And I realized at that point that the protein that I was lacking in my body was very important. I might have an iron deficiency. I might have a protein deficiency. The doctors, five, six years later, still cannot tell me what's going on. I'm back at the doctor on the 24th to get some more blood work, some more tests. Turns out I've got some issues going on with the pituitary gland and some growths going on in there, ischemic disease. The fibromyalgia is kicking my butt. I mean, there's just so many things. But you know what I do? I get up every day. I move my body. I take my vitamins. I put my pain rub oil on. And uh, I keep moving. And now I'm digging more and more into my... Uh, passion, which is in medicine, in plants, uh, nutrition, exercise, holistic approach. Stay tuned for more. This is Amber Johnson, just throwing some stuff out at you, letting you know how I'm doing, um, and encouraging you to, you know, be creative. Here, I'm going to show you guys some stuff here before I go, because our next art show is coming up June 12th, and, um, yeah, I got a lot of product, and uh, I've been working very hard over here at my house. I have a small space, and um, yeah, it can get kind of pricey too, so it's kind of like you fill it out. Got my glasses on, I found them. Can't see really. Here, I don't know if I can flip this thing. All right, let me show you. All right, so here, we have my candles okay this is my balm that I made personally I will tell you guys all about that at another time or when you go to the art show here's my lip balms that I've been making I've got these beautiful candles that I just made with soy now they got a little bit of dents on the inside of this one but it's still doable in this jar right here is all my soaps I've been making. I've got more stuff. Wire wrapping, oils. Over here, I've got my lotions. Oh my goodness! You talk about being busy. I like to think that, uh, or I like to um, say thank you to everyone that's encouraged to uh, be creative and get all artsy and do your projects because you guys are all looking forward to the next art show, and I'm so glad that I'm able to encourage you to. Uh, get up and move around and be creative and get in the zone and get excited. Be a kid, you know, be creative, get out of your comfort zone. Um, like me, if you uh, see any more of my videos, you'll know that I've been dancing and getting out, going to the park tomorrow, Sundays, one o'clock, Reed Park, Duck Pond. Sacred Sunday Circles with One Heartbeat and Deacon Open My Jam or Weekly Sunday Fun Day. There you go. That's all I got for now. Stay tuned for more. This is Amber Johnson with Helping the Good People here in Tucson, Arizona. If you like what you hear and you think I'm goofy or you want to 
here's some more crazy videos, please tell me in the comments section below. I really need some input on what to talk about next. You give me something, and I'll give you something. <laughs> I guess that's the only way to go. It's a give and receive. Have a beautiful day.